Hi, my name is Ben Warren, and I'm a gastroenterology fellow at Houston Methodist Hospital. Today, we're going to be talking about what fibrosis means in fatty liver disease and how we measure it. Fatty liver disease is, like it sounds, a condition of fat accumulation in the liver. This can be due to either alcohol or from other causes. If it's from other causes, we call it non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. Over time, fatty liver can lead to fibrosis and ultimately cirrhosis. So what is fibrosis? Well, fibrosis is just scarring of the liver. Uh, this is the body's healing response to chronic liver injury. And we grade it from stage F0 to stage F4. F0 being no fibrosis and F4 being cirrhosis or irreversible scarring of the liver. We can measure fibrosis in a few different ways, both invasively and non-invasively. And we'll go through each of these different options. So first is blood testing or serology. This uses markers in the bloodstream to give an indirect estimate of liver fibrosis. This is the cheapest of available tests and is non-invasive, but is less accurate. Next is imaging or elastography. This can be done either with ultrasound, which uses sound waves, or MRI, which uses magnetic energy to measure stiffness of the liver, thereby giving an estimate of fibrosis. This is non-invasive, is more accurate than blood testing, and is easy to perform. Finally, we have liver biopsy. This is invasive, but it's considered the gold standard for measuring liver fibrosis. And there's a few different ways to perform a liver biopsy. First is percutaneous, or a liver biopsy performed through the skin. Next is transjugular, or through a vein in the neck. Then we have surgical liver biopsy, or biopsy obtained during an abdominal surgery. And finally, we have endoscopic uh, liver biopsy, in which a gastroenterologist places an endoscope with an ultrasound probe on the end through the mouth and into the stomach. A needle then passed through the endoscope and into the liver in order to obtain a biopsy. At the end of the day, a liver biopsy is performed in order to gather tissue for a pathologist to look at under a microscope and directly measure the degree of fibrosis. But regardless of how fibrosis is measured, whether that's with blood testing, imaging, or through a liver biopsy, the information provided will help your gastroenterologist or hepatologist make decisions about your treatment plan moving forward. So I thank you for your time, and I hope that this was informative.